A Palestinian man has been shot dead close to the Israeli-Gaza border. It's the first reported killing since a ceasefire came into force on Wednesday. The IDF says around 300 people approached the border fence east of Khan Yunis and some tried to break through. Israeli troops then fired warning shots and after these were ignored, they shot at their legs. Palestinians claim the people were a group of farmers who were trying to retrieve parts from the wreckage of an Israeli jeep. The damage from the eight-day Israeli onslaught is still being assessed. Palestinian supply tunnels close to the Rafa border crossing bore the brunt of the destruction. We're trying to repair the tunnel to get back to work. This tunnel of ours, which has been destroyed, will cost around 30,000 US dollars to repair. Since the ceasefire, Israeli troops have moved into the West Bank and made a swathe of arrests. The IDF say the move was related to recent terrorist activity in Judea and Samaria. A spokesperson said the arrests will help restore calm to the region.